Hey YouTube, it's your girl Always Nigeria coming at you today with a different type of video. So today, you can see I have a clear microwavable uh, dishwasher safe bowl. I have some shea butter. I have these two little containers here for a travel size. I have this um, airtight container and I'm going to make myself and my daughter Bailey a whipped body butter because her skin has been getting very very dry and i know that when i am pregnant i get these two dry marks around my mouth and i literally cannot stand it so i have now chosen to make us a body butter instead of just using a regular shea butter so here is my shea butter and i'm just gonna take some out and i'm kind of gonna just break it up into smaller smaller there we go come on now focus focus smaller little pieces so that it can um melt faster you don't want to microwave it because you don't want to have it ruin its nutrients so you just want to kind of get it into smaller little pieces so i have a pot going and i'm warming the water and i'm just going to put it inside this microwavable bowl dishwasher safe whatever you want to call it bowl oven safe whatever and then sit it inside the hot water and let it melt and this process shouldn't take so long if you get it smaller i mean you don't it doesn't matter if you have little pieces of it like left over because like in chunk steel because it's going to make it easier to whip um it if it's too loose, it's it takes a lot longer to whip. And if you're adding any type of essential oils that you want to add, that's fine as well. But you don't want to add too much because it'll just make it looser and harder to whip. And I want that nice, creamy, you know, whip. So I'm going to add a decent amount of the shea butter. I'm also going to add some coconut oil, but I'm going to add that once it's already heated because y'all know coconut oil <laughs> it don't take nothing to thin that out so i'm gonna add um some aloe gel and some vitamin e i'm gonna add some honey and some other little essential oils whatever oils you prefer or whatever oils you've noted to be good for your skin or your baby's skin or whatever go ahead and add them but just note that the more oil you put in the thinner it'll get and the longer it'll take to cool and get to the consistency you need it to be at before you can whip it. So just keep those in mind. What I really like about doing this is that you can make these for other people, for like party favors. You can do it like just as a gift, you know, all type of things you can do with it. And, uh, you know, make it really nice for someone. So, yeah, I like that like that idea you can also add like um any type of fragrance you would like so like maybe some rose some orange or um tangerine which is almost like orange but i think it smells a little different you can add in like peppermint any type of oils you want and type of fragrance and just be mindful that fragrance like peppermint and eucalyptus spearmint things like that they all have a different um they all have like a different reaction on your body and to see to your senses to like calm it down so that's also nice if you want to be making a gift for someone and say they're like just had a baby and you want to calm them down uh like you know get when they're trying to relax in the tub and you choose to do something like this for them you can do potentially like a peppermint with some um lavender and you know things like that that'll calm their senses and relax them so like maybe some chamomile things like that so that's why i say it's really nice you can give this as a gift it doesn't take long it does take a while for it to cool and get to the consistency you wanted it but it still doesn't take too 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 long and after this i probably well, I will show you the next steps. 
but for my next video guys i kind of know what i want to do it won't be necessarily nursing related because i know i've been doing those videos non-stop so my next video is just kind of going to touch on 2022 and the goals that you have so i want you to think of the goals that you made and think of how they're going and you know things like that and then um we'll discuss further i want to see how your goals are you achieving those goals have you had to rectify those goals and you know change them up a little bit is it going good have you accomplished any of your goals you know things like that i want to talk about so talk about how your year is going talk about what your goals are let me know what your goals are in the comments of the next video guys of the next video <laughs> so i'll actually say that over in the next video just wanted to touch on what i wanted to talk about in the next video uh let me know how you guys are doing things like that so there 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 i'm sorry for all the little pieces my counter is clean guys i just cleaned it off these are all just shea butter pieces that are falling it's about this much it's like it's so good okay and about i don't know if you can tell about how much that is in the bowl i really should probably be recording this from the other angle but hopefully i'll be able to turn it horizontal so now what i'm gonna do i only have a single eye on i didn't feel the need to do much extra so i'm just gonna put this in here like this like so it comes off my finger and then i'm gonna slide this over so oh no i'm not it's hot so i'm just gonna sit my bowl in here take sorry take you guys over so you can see and then we're just gonna let it let it warm up in this hot water you can see the water is actually surrounding the bowl like i said i didn't want to microwave it because you don't want to um lose the nutrients there's so much essential nutrients in shea butter so you don't want to lose those nutrients so i'm just going to let this sit here for a little while and let it melt and once it gets to the consistency i want it then i will come back and chat with you ladies okay guys so now that it's gotten to the consistency that i want it to i'm going to whip it for about 20 minutes so let's go and your machine should tell you um what speed to put it on to whip it and whipping it just gives it like a lot of air and things like that so i've already um put it in the refrigerator so you can see that it's kind of frozen not frozen uh, gotten a little bit more solid than what it was i added in some honey i added in some aloe gel i added in coconut um oil uh virgin coconut oil organic I added in some vitamin E and things like that. So you can put in whatever you want, but this is what I wanted to use. So my machine, I need to put it on five to whip. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so my daughter doesn't like how it sounds when I'm whipping it, but as you can see, this is so creamy, so creamy, and it just moisturizes the skin.
There's no sticky residue. Now you wanna get some type of airtight jar and then put it in there. So I'm just gonna take it. I need to actually whip, whip this part a little bit more, but it's very whipped. Very whipped. I'm actually gonna whip it just a little bit more, but my daughter doesn't like the sound of it, so I keep having to stop it. So I'm just taking it off the sides. I'm just gonna whip it for a few more minutes so I can get some more air into it and whip it a little bit more. But yes. So you can literally see the longer you whip it, the creamier it becomes. I keep having to whip it off camera because my daughter really doesn't like the sound of it. So I'm trying to do it as quick as I can. But you can see it's just so much creamier. And it doesn't matter if you get it all over your hands and stuff like me, because <laughs> I already took my shower. I'm about to rub it into my belly, on my legs, everything like that. For those of you who don't know, I am pregnant. So this is, you know, something good to add to your belly, to keep it moisturized. So I've been whipping it for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to whip it for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to put it in my airtight container. Gonna put here in my airtight container. Remember, guys, airtight. That's airtight container. Yep, it's an airtight container. It's an airtight container. Airtight. Yes, you can. Your chair is right there. Bruh, why you do that? Leave that knife alone. Y'all doing too much. I'm about to make y'all get down. So as y'all can see, okay. it goes into your container. It's pretty good. Once I you get out the tub. We're going to take bath first. That's what mommy said. So this is it in the container. Nice. And whipped, nice and whipped. Close it, mommy. I will. Nice and whipped. Like I said, you can add whatever you want. What? Stop. I said what? Whipped. Whipped. Ah, uh, what? I'm just pushing it in there so I can get a little bit more in, in here. Pushing it in there? Like that. So I'm gonna get a little bit more in here and then I'll start putting it in my travel containers because for those of you who do not know, I am a nurse. So I'm constantly washing my hands and they get really, really dry. I want so I wanted hand. to make me something to carry around in my pocket. So now I'm just gonna, this jar is full and I'm going to close it up. Nice and airtight. Oh Let's crap. Sorry, y'all. Nice and airtight. That's a mommy. Now, okay. this is yeah. nice and airtight. You see how creamy that is? I've already added it to my belly a million times. I'm going to add some to my feet. Don't be afraid to get it on your hands, guys, because, like I said before, all you're doing is rubbing it on your body anyway. Wherever you can find some space to put it, and you just don't know how good it feels. And it smells good. It smells and it feels like being in the motherland, the islands. So I'm just filling up these two little things here. And then whatever I have left over is what I'll be rubbing on my kids when they get out the tub. So, so I'm actually gonna give one of these to my home girl. She's a nurse as well. We work together. And her hands always ashy too. So 
and give her one. Fill one up and give it to her. So she can have some nice hand cream as well. See? And it just goes and it fits nicely in whatever type of container you put it in. But just make sure that it can close because you don't want to room with you. I know y'all not playing in my water. Close, turn that water off. Uh, you know, you don't want to ruin what you just made. And to keep it whipped, you want to trap that air inside of it. So, turn that water off, please. So I'm just... Now, if I was actually making this to sell it or something like that to other people, I would obviously be wearing gloves. And I would be piping it into... Um, my containers but because I really was just making this for home I'm not doing that but you can always buy the little piping things where you can fill up the bags and you can put this inside of it and then squeeze it through that little hole and pipe it into your container get down thank you get down I was being sarcastic Girl, you're not helping me do the dishes. You, it's one dish in the sink, and y'all was running water in it, wasting my water. Move. What is that? It's the same thing I just made. Now move. Excuse me. Thank you. That's butter. Okay. It's body butter. Yes, you're correct, baby. Body butter. Yeah. So, it, like I said, if you were going to be selling this or something like that, and you wanted to obviously be sterile and things like that, you would use... Um, you know, you can use a plastic bag. You can use one of those Ziploc bags and just... If you don't want to buy the piping bags and just um, uh, cut it, the hole in the tip and then just squeeze it through. And that way you would be not touching the product. But you see, I still have some here. So I'm going to get all this good stuff off with the knife or something. And I'm going to put it in here. And then the remainder of this is going on my children after they get out the tub. It's still a nice little, you know, amount. I'm going to put it on three kids. You can put it in your hair. So I'll be putting this in my daughter's hair. Um, you know, because this is a natural product. It is very good for moisture. So I'm going to put some of this in my daughter's hair. Both daughters. I just want to eject these. So I can get all my nutrients. I want to get all this good stuff. Okay, let me get a plastic, plastic knife. I want to get all up in here, you know? I want it all. Uh oh. I ain't want to do that one. But yes, I want to get all my product. I actually have some more travel size containers, so I may end up filling those. Because, I mean, this is so moisturizing, you don't need a whole bunch on you. But I am going to put it over their whole body. And then whatever I don't use. Matter of fact, I'm going to section off a little bit more of this. And then I'm going to just put it in more of my travel size containers. Put some in my purse, put some in my work bag. So I always have some on me. Because y'all, this is amazing. This is Mother Earth right here. Mother Earth. And it doesn't take long. But you do want to make sure you're using products that are good for your skin. You want to use products that you know what you're doing. You want to um, research, 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 research. So you're putting products that are actually good for you and make sure they're like organic. You know, you don't want to just be adding oils. So with that being said, thank you for watching guys. Catch you in the next video.